Hi, this is Doug Joseph with Design 8 Studio. And I want to mention to you something real quickly about a 3D printed DIN rail mount that I made uh, custom designed. This is a remix uh, off of a mount uh, that I found on GrabCAD. But this one is for the Mesa Electronics uh, 7i96S in out card, which I'm using for uh, Linux CNC for a plasma uh, CNC table. And this mount, uh, I based it uh, on the same approach used by Mesa Electronics on their Torch Height Control module. This is a Torch Height Control AD2 from Mesa Electronics. And they have four screw holes in it that are mounted to DIN rail mounts. Uh, they're 10 millimeters wide and there are two of them mounting the torch height control to a DIN rail. Uh, the screw holes obviously are farther apart and there are six screw holes right. instead of four for the in and out card, but I realized the same approach would, would work. However, I wanted to make a quick video to discourage you from uh, using the M3 screws to attach uh, the mounts to the board before attaching the mounts to the DIN rail. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because if you attach the mounts to the board and then you go to snap uh, the mounts onto the DIN rail, you could possibly wind up flexing your PCB a little bit and that could possibly uh, do some detriment to your board. So if you simply eye it up with where the screw holes are, you'll be able to mount these onto the DIN rail first and then maybe slide nudge them over or slide them a little bit as needed in order to get them in the right place and then finally attach your PCB to it afterward the main board. Uh, I want to mention I, I added this onto the design it's a little it's a little uh, grab point to kind of uh, make it easier to get the mount on and off as needed. I need to slide it over just a bit. That's pretty good. So here we've got a DIN rail with the torch height control unit already attached and our 3D printed mounts that will allow us to put the in out board on. So I'll just zip through uh, putting this in place with M3 screws. So as you can tell, 3D printed part has its own built-in standoffs. If you like our content, please click like and subscribe. I'll put a download link in the description below. And until the next video, I wish you happy making.